Hello, dear students. Today we are going to see how the graphs of linear equations in one variable looks like. So here I am going to take uh, one linear equation in one variable that is 3x plus 5 equals 8. Okay, now you can see how this line is appearing. It's a line which is parallel to the y-axis and it is perpendicular to the x-axis. So let me take one more equation. 4x minus 5 equals 8. See, equation 2 is also a line which is uh, parallel to the y-axis. And uh, it is parallel to the previous line also. That is 3x plus 5 equals 8. So if we take any linear equation in one variable of the type ax plus b equals c, it will be parallel to the y-axis and it will be parallel with each other. Okay. And another interesting thing you just notice that uh, it is perpendicular to the x-axis. Okay, now let me see what is the point of intersection of the line and the x-axis. So let us observe. I am taking the first equation and the x-axis and we see that the point of intersection is 1, 0. Uh, let us simplify this 3x plus 5 equals 8. When you simplify this, what do you get? 3x is equal to 8 minus 5, that is, one, uh, that is 3. And 3x is equal to 3 implies x is equal to 1. And interestingly, you notice the point A is 1, 0. So what do you get from here? That uh, abscissa of this point, that is 1, 0, is the solution of 3x plus 5 equals 8. That means if we put x is equal to 1 on the left hand side, we get left hand side equal to right hand side. Uh, let us see 3 into 1 plus 5, 8 equals 8. Similarly, let us observe the second line that is second equation 4x minus 5 equals 8. So let us see the point of intersection of this line and the x-axis. So what is this point B? This point B is 3.25,0. That means the solution of the line 4x minus 5 equals 8 will be x is equal to 3.25. So when you simplify and put x is equal to 3.25, so 4 into 3.25 minus 5 will gives us 8. I hope uh, the idea is clear to you and how the linear equations in one variable looks like. You are able to visualize the lines of the type ax plus b equals c. So I am uh, just concluding that this will be a line which will be parallel to the y-axis and perpendicular to the x-axis. And the point of intersection of the x-axis and the line, the abscissa of that point will give us the solution of that equation. Thank you so 